I believe in the power of music. It transcends everything. Music can shape a life. It can change a life. I saw her on TV when she was on The Tonight Show and when she was in her 20s. She has been a um, sort of a sort of an idol of mine since I was growing up. In 2014, we were contacted by friends of Nadja who mentioned to us that Nadja was interested in being associated with a school of music with an orchestra. And I, I knew her before I came to Loyola, and I couldn't believe that she was coming. She has a big presence. She's a big personality. And I think we were all a little terrified when she first came. I know I was, and I was terrified for my students. Of course, whenever she comes, everyone gets nervous. We have to have everything ready. She comes in just like so full of life, and she's so personable that it's just really easy to work with her. She makes you feel like you've known her forever. She's, a, she's quite amazing in that matter, like she's so down to earth. She's so candid, she's so forthright, and she's funny. She's got a great sense of humor. I think that the kids really hone in on that. <laughs> now we take a break and we'll meet up again at five. <laughs> the idea of passing on what I know and what is my deep, deep, deep passion onto a, a young generation, as corny as it sounds, is um, it's, it's thrilling to me, it's gratifying to me, and it's, a, and it's a, a great responsibility. I think that we should do it. We have to pass on what we know, what we've learned. We have to. In our work with Artist Corps, we work um, in support of music education in the city. Nadja reached out to us to say that she was here and that she was interested in working in schools, and maybe not the traditional schools that folks would send her to when they heard that she was coming to town. Really, the, the whole point of it is to plant a seed. Just that kind of preparation gets them excited. And then I come in, and I'm personable, and I talk to them, and I laugh with them, and I make them work, and I make them sound better. And yeah, the, that's a seed that has already been planted, but boom, it grows right away, right away. And you see the result immediately. She has the perfect balance when she was here, the perfect balance of warmth and kindness and and holding them up to a certain standard. Excellent, very good. I want you to listen to this because that's what's going on while you're playing your part, okay? That's what makes it all sound really great. So while they're playing, uh, 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 you guys are playing the melody. See, so that's how it all fits together. If there's a chance I could change the life of even one of these kids, I have to do it. I couldn't live with myself if I didn't try. We saw the t other teachers in the school getting excited, the, these young students really being floored by the chance that they had to work with Nadja, and then taking that whole experience to Loyola and having those same students from an elementary school be able to watch Nadja rehearse her students at Loyola. Because I knew this particular class was coming to Loyola to listen to, um, to listen to our rehearsal. I prepared them for that. Their teacher prepared them for that. Who, who like places questions like, what are you seeing? What, what are you thinking about this? And what are your feelings about this? So when you come tomorrow and you look and listen to us rehearse, look for that. They, they have like sort of a, a open carte blanche to, to express how they feel about everything that they're seeing and, and everything that they're playing. So they were, they were astonished. You could see the fire ignite and you could see the light that they were experiencing um, the really the light of possibility and potential and opportunity. So the kids are sitting so close to Nadja and all of the Loyola students and um, they don't really know what to expect and <laughs> Nadja brings up her arms and everybody puts up their instruments and and the first beat they play and the music starts and one of my violists makes the space for about five minutes, five minutes, nonstop. And he turns his head and he looks at me like, are you serious? And I nod, I'm like, mm-hmm, this, this, is, this is it. And he gets it, he got it, he understood what it means to make music. So that's the idea, you see how that 
that feels playing that. So right before 105, we have like kind of a little growing. And then at 105, it drops down, which could be still a little bit better right at 105. So we'll do it one more time, and then I think we'll have it. But that's the idea. This da 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 I came on to Loyola basically to form a conductorless chamber orchestra. I had no idea, but it's turned out to be such a, a fantastic marriage um, because they are like little sponges on fire, all these kids. They're, they're learning their instruments and they're busy with other schoolwork and I think they, they like to come to um, chamber rehearsals, you know, and I make them laugh, but I also teach them so, so, so much about listening to each other, there's no conductor there, you know, there's no conductor. So it's like a, a, if you come to an intersection with, with many, many lanes coming in and there's no cop there, there's no light. Well, how do you know when to go? You have to be aware of everything that's going on around you. And it's the same without a conductor. So they're, they're, um, they're learning now to listen to each other across the stage. They're learning how to also play music with a great vibrancy, which is what I can bring. <laughs> Very liberating. Very, very liberating. It's incredible. I don't think those kids will ever forget the experience they had with her. She breaks some barriers that you don't see when you're playing. She makes you see through many things that you don't see as a, as a standard musician. When you have someone you know, as, as well known as her and as a professional as she is, she just opens your eye to, to a world that you've never seen. It's, we, we share that in the orchestra, we share that in the two master classes we had. And it's just, it's really, it's really eye-opening experience for every single musician in the orchestra and for me, because I had the chance to have a master class just with her. You know, have, you have a half hour with a kid, and you you try to focus on the most obvious thing that needs work with this with this uh, child. And and if you can get them to hear improvement right away, I think it's the best thing for for students when they can hear and feel that uh, it's getting better, because it's uh, that's what's inspiring. Then it inspires them to work harder. I think that her presence has affected the students in such a positive way. I almost don't even have words for that. Your true potential, she, she really just brings it out from the depths of your heart. Now we've caught the vision for what could be, which is an ongoing relationship with those students over multiple years. When those kids look back on their collegiate experience, 20 years from now, 10 years from now, 30 years from now, that experience that they had with, with Nadja would be one of their fondest memories of Loyola. can't be around that kind of artistry and that kind of virtuosity and walk away unchanged. It's about 
putting stuff into people that cause them to think differently and to um, to become more human. Yeah. It's the development of the human spirit and the the idea of there's something, there's magic in the world. And there's certainly magic in that music.